Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be blending animals and that's always something really fun to do in Photoshop and I want to show you how to do that. So the most important thing about blending animals is getting the right stock images. I went to a free stock website called pixabay.com and I picked up a couple images there, but I used a lot of time to figure out which ones I want to blend. So I've got this picture of a cat, which is uh, completely white, nice white fur. And I wanted to find another animal that also has white in it. So I found a picture of this eagle uh, that's got these beautiful white feathers all around the head. And so I thought both of these images might be pretty good to uh, blend together. Both the cat and the eagle are both in profile view. I only see one of their eyes. So that's going to help out as well. But make sure you get the right images uh, that are going to be able to, uh, to blend easy in Photoshop. And so we've got the images ready. Let's go ahead and blend them together. All right, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and cut out that head of the eagle. So I've already cut out the eagle head. I used uh, some masking and some uh, quick select tools and some pen tools uh, to get that eagle head uh, selected and it's on its own layer. Now that it's on its own layer, we can go ahead and make it a little bit smaller and we can rotate it and kind of put it where it needs to go. Now this needs to be uh, done carefully. You wanna make sure you put this eagle head in the right spot. You don't want it to look too big or too crooked or uh, the wrong size or wrong uh, perspective. So make sure you spend some time rotating it, get it in that right spot. You can always make the opacity a little bit lower. Uh, if you want to try to blend, you know, where the eye is at or where the neck is at or the ears are at, uh, just try to get that in the most natural place that you can. Uh, so that'll make the end result look as believable as we can make it. The next thing we want to do is put a layer mask on that cutout layer and we want to just get a brush with a low flow and we just want to start masking out the edges of this eagle head. So just take a mask, take a brush on that mask and just blend out these edges, especially right down here at the bottom because we don't want these feathers just kind of like sticking out uh, over the fur. So just blend those out. And uh, again, our light and our color is not right yet. We just wanna make sure we have the right uh, masking going on for our eagle head. And so make sure you go up here to the top as well right where it blends in with those other pieces of fur in the background. Just blend those as best you can. And it, it's best to make it as um, feathered as possible. You want a nice gradual transition uh, from the feathers to the cat's fur. All right, the next one thing we want to do is work on a little bit of the color. We noticed that the eagle has a little bit of orange color on it. And if you look at the cat, it's there's a lot of blue color in this white. So I'm just gonna go up to my eagle head, make a new layer on top of it. And I'm gonna paint some of those, those whites that are on the cat, which are a little bit more blue. Then I'm gonna change that blend mode to color. And what that's gonna do is just gonna make it the same color value. Then I'm gonna go to a levels adjustment on this eagle. And I'm gonna bring my midtones up and I just want to match the same value value as the uh, the cat below. So just do that. So it kind of matches the shadows of the cat, kind of like that. And then I'm going to make a new um, layer on top of that with a white color and change it to overlay. And I'm just going to very carefully paint like on the, the top part of the eagle head because the, the top part of the cat is the brightest. So let's make the top part of the eagle the brightest as well. Just use overlay and a white brush. Now what you want to do is kind of uh, fine tune our shadows a little bit. So if we look at that cat, we see that there's some shadows right underneath the chin and that makes sense because the light is up high. So if you go to this eagle where we did the levels adjustment, you want to mask out some of that levels adjustment. Maybe where the eye is at, it's gonna be a little bit darker because it's underneath the light. Or maybe right here like on the chin uh, below the beak, maybe that's a little bit darker. So just bring back some of that levels adjustment so it's darker in the spots that it needs to be. Uh, but just try to follow the same light pattern uh, on the cat image as with the eagle image. And if you also want to get rid of that cat ear that's in the background, you can just go to that uh, cat background and just paint some of these blue colors that are in the background. Or you can leave the ear there as well. It depends what you want to go with this look. Uh, either with the ear or without the ear, but just mask that out on the cat layer below. 
Guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, after you're done with it and you're happy with how the light and the color looks, you can always just you know get these layers of the eagle's head and you could rotate it and see if you can find a better composition. Maybe it's looking down or maybe it's looking up. Uh, and anywhere you see the cat below, you're just gonna have to go down to that layer and mask that area out. But figure out where you want to put the, uh, the eagle's head and then you can be uh, pretty much done with this image. To sharpen the entire image, make a new layer on top of everything, control all Alt, Shift and E will stamp it into one layer. Then go to Filter, Other, High Pass, and let's do 3.0 pixels. And then we'll change that blend mode to overlay and that just sharpens the entire image. And I think that's a great way to, to get everything to blend together. But guys, that's all I've got for today. This is a quick tutorial on how to blend animals. Hope that you enjoyed it and I can't wait to see what you guys can come up with. Thanks guys.